Hey everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we don't have any further information on Time of Legends Joan of Arc, Enchanters, Steam Watchers, or Darkest Dungeon the board game, but let's get to everything else. For Solomon Kane today, just a quick update on a few loose ends. For Quartermaster Logistics, Meeple Logistics, and VFI Asia, the neoprene mats are coming as a second shipment. QML is still waiting on no less than four containers. I thought there were only two. Uh, one arrived at port on Saturday, March 13th, and the other three are expected to arrive at port on March 17th. Meeple Logistics had to repackage the neoprene mats as the original packaging they came in is not accepted by most couriers with which they work. Concerning the Virtuous sleeve count that some of you have asked about, the tarot card sleeve packs for the Virtuous bundle is not your typical 50 count packs, but 63 sleeves per pack. Each backer who ordered these sleeves should have received 20 packs. If you didn't, please contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net. For Brightbusters today, just a short final call for address changes for the Errata upgrade packs. Get in your address changes now. We will keep the window open to change your address for one more week until March 23rd before we send the final list to the hubs. For Super Fantasy Brawl today, I just wanted to give a reminder that the Round 2 campaign is still up and running, and it will continue until Friday, March 19th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you come and check out all the new champions and consider pledging. For Hell the Last Saga, we wanted to address some of the frequently asked questions we've been getting of late. So we'll try to answer them as frankly and openly as possible with the information that is available. First of all, the solo mode is being created and written as we go, after the gameplay of a song is completed. The narrative designers then must write a few additional paragraphs adjusted for the solo mode. Now, as a reminder, the solo mode will allow you to manage the clan in a different way, uh, adapted to this playstyle by limiting the number of playable heroes to four. Then, for each situation that would require a sustained interaction between players, it provides instead a small puzzle for the player to solve. For now, we can only refer you to the article detailing these intentions published during the campaign, which serves as our guide. But we would also like to add that among the applications that you've sent us for the upcoming playtest campaign, many of you have expressed their wish to test only this mode, and some of them will receive an invitation for that indeed. Concerning the German translation of the rulebook, we know that this has caused a fair amount of concern among our German-speaking backers, enough so that we are considering changing the process specifically for this language. We are aware that the current translation is not satisfactory. The main reason is that the translator did their work from English to German, and we didn't have enough time to check the result in depth. The purpose of what we've shown so far was to offer you a preview of a system, not necessarily a final or validated text. As Hell is written in French, we have opted for another translator who will start from the French language, which will also better facilitate our discussions with him. Be assured that we will post the rewritten rulebook for your feedback. In general, though, everything is first written in French and will be translated only after the final validation of this document is, has been completed in French. However, we will make an exception for the next iteration of the rules so that you have a chance to give us feedback. For narrative texts, this process is, will take longer and will require more external reviewers. Concerning the updated rule books in other languages, we are in the process of completely revising the structure of the rules to specifically adopt a progressive learning type of presentation during the saga. Some new rules, or new terrain, or mechanisms, or what have you, will only appear in later songs, so we will describe them in an 
additional rules chapter whose subsections will only be read when a song specifies it in the order of their appearance in the saga. Our initial idea was to put blank spaces in the rules and to add the additional rules as stickers, kind of like in a legacy game. But your reluctant feedback during the campaign of this idea convinced us not to do it. Now, these rules are neither long nor numerous, but they require following the saga. This process is currently being done in French and is at the stage of proofreading and editing to ensure that all rule dependencies between them and their writing are free of any confusion. The text will be translated as soon as we are satisfied with the result. When we present these rules to you, we will also update the Tabletop Simulator demos to take advantage of all the published changes. Now concerning the storage solution, we unfortunately cannot provide you with an exact layout of the inserts at this particular time. The dimensions of the game boxes and details for the containers are part of the final stages of pre-production, after having exhaustively defined all of the game's contents, which has changed considerably since the campaign. The structure of this game brings a lot of containers and subcontainers, which are the song boxes, so it's impossible for us to have a precise vision at this particular stage. But as soon as we do, we will dedicate an update to this topic, rest assured. Now, we know that some of these answers may seem disappointing. As explained in previous updates, we've decided to spend more time on the storytelling and playtesting aspects of the game right now, so any manufacturing-related considerations can only be made in detail as we approach the production of the final product. For those of you who are still hesitating to complete their pledge manager without a clear answer to some of these questions, in the absence of a detailed answer, let me remind you that we have prolonged the duration of the Pledge Manager so that you still have time to react to our future communications before making your decision. Rest assured that as soon as we have more information on each of these topics, you will be the first to know. And if we don't answer specific questions for now, it's simply because we don't have a specific answer to give. But that will change. Now, finally, to kind of apologize for not being able to tell you more at the moment, let's end on a half spoiler. The design of all of our roll tokens has been completed, and we couldn't resist presenting them to you, along with their respective titles. Some of them may not be familiar to you, and we want to keep them a mystery, but we're sure some of you will easily guess where we are going. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. Now it's possible that those times will maybe fluctuate and change a little bit because we are, we are in the middle of a Kickstarter right now, so just bear with us. But tune in if you have any questions or you just want to see what he might spoil. We're probably going to talk mostly about Super Fantasy Brawl in round two, but we'll see. That's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.